Let me take you through how to create this chase around animation. Like the mission heart rate animation of the activity app on the Apple Watch. We are going to use a 2D animation tool known as Flare from two dimensions. If you want to follow along, let's get started. Flare is a 2D animation tool for creating animations for iOS and Android apps. You can get this tool from twodimensions.com. I already have an account, so I'm going to create a new file by selecting New Flare. To start, I'm going to bring an icon I downloaded from Flutter Icons. I'll go to the location and drag the icon to the artboard, and that goes to the asset folder. To bring the icon to the artboard, I'm going to drag it to the artboard. We are going to use this icon as a tracing template. I'll go to the layer and lock it. And go to the layer inspector and change the opacity to 0.5, like so. I'm going to rename this to tracing. We are going to draw this hat icon using the pen tool. The pen tool is located under create tools or you can press V to select it. With the pen tool you can draw in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. I prefer drawing in clockwise direction. I'm going to click to create a straight point. You can also click and drag to create a curve point like so. I'm going to click again and drag to create another curve point. I'm going to repeat the same process in order to trace the heart icon. In order to close the path, I'm going to click where we started from and as you can see our last segment is a straight segment that is not what we want I'm going to select the last anchor point and you can see from here the anchor point is mirrored so as we move one control point it moves the other as well I'm going to adjust the control point in order to create the heart shape like so. Now I'm going to press escape in order to deselect the tool. First let's select the icon we brought as a template and delete it. I'm going to select the new heart icon we created and rename the layer to heart. Let's go to the properties. Let's change the thickness from 1 to 20, like so. Now let's go to trim path, and as you can see, it is set to off. We are going to select it and set it to sequential. We have only one path, so setting it to sequential or synced will produce the same result. Let's select the add board for now and change the color to black. Let's select the heart icon and change the color. We're going to change the stroke color to something like red. Let's go to the stroke start and the stroke end property of the heart icon. We have the stroke end as 100. Let's change it to 96. And that creates an open path if I deselect the heart icon. Let's select it again and round the corners of the open end, that is the cap. Let's select it again and start animating the offset property so that the open path will be seen moving around the heart icon. To animate any layer in Flare, we need to go to animation mode. We are now in design mode. So I'll switch to animate mode with the heart icon still selected. Let's go to the offset property. 
we can click on this icon in order to create a keyframe depending on the position of the playhead. From the timeline, you can see the playhead is at 0 second. So I'm going to click on this icon to create a keyframe at 0 second. That will use the offset property of the trim path. Now we have auto keyframe set. So anything we do is going to be recorded. I'm going to move the playhead to something like 4 seconds. I'm going to change the offset property to something like 100. I click the keyframe as well. As I move this, you can see the trim path, that is the open path, is just moving along the heart. I can click on the preview icon in order to see what we have done. To change the speed, I'm going to select the final keyframe and move it to 2 seconds, like so. Preview again. Now let's trim the work area to 2 seconds as well. Let's loop the animation by changing the duration to 2 seconds as well. And click on the preview. Let's end the preview and go and preview from the files. So this is the file we just created. We can click on it and, and play the animation right here. So this is how to create this chase around animation using the offset property of trim path. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video. Thanks for watching.